the Mason Minute with Kevin Mason. A year and a half ago, most of America started binge-watching things. And people still do it to this day, whether it's on Netflix or Hulu or HBO Max or or whatever it is, or Disney+. Plus. I mean, oh my gosh, we've got so many binge-watching choices now. But I found myself binge-watching less and less. If I'm going to binge-watch something, it's whatever's on the television right then on cable. Because I'm too tired of having to pay that close of attention. Now, it's true, there are some shows I've got to watch and I will continue watching no matter how many episodes they put out. But they're only putting out 6 to 10 a year, or 6 to 10 every couple of years. I'm fully in invested in those shows. But with a lot of shows, they'll have a season one, you binge watch that, and season two comes out six, eight, ten months later, and you're like, well, I'm not sure, maybe I will watch, maybe I won't, and season three comes along, and you're like, well, I have to go back and watch season two, that means I'm going to have to watch season three, and now I'm 20 episodes down. It's just as easy to turn the TV on and find something to watch, and watching it for however long you watch it. I find myself, when I'm binge watching, watching a whole lot more TV, and doing a whole lot less, maybe that's the problem.